the aspect that um it looks super fun. Um, I really don't know how long I'm going to record this for. that a rare one it's strong and to the victor go the spoils old man sakaki's gonna have a fit when he sees this <laughs> i'd like to see some reinforcements out here if we're all done here let's call for expo i'm starved speaking of what are they serving today admittedly i wasn't paying a lot of attention at the last supply meeting wait just remembered some new engineered corn or something uh, you mean that same overgrown corn on the cob fiasco it's so hard to chew. Yeah, we're having a bit of a lean year. We should be glad we're getting fed at all. Hey, Soma, how about a trade, huh? You like corn? Don't think so. Come on, if we're not back soon, we'll get a lot of nothing. about the story of this game. Pardon the interruption, Director. I believe Norn has found a match. A potential new type God Eater, sir. Very good. Send the data to my personal terminal. Oh boy. Summon them. There's potential, but they must first clear the test. Oh boy. <laughs> pass the potential test. If I don't pass the test, I'm not. I don't have enough skills. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Allow me to bid you welcome. This is humanity's final fortress, the stalwart bastion of Fenrir. In this chamber, we shall test your compatibility to join the anti-Aragami punitive force, the God Eaters. Please, do try to relax. I assure you, there is nothing at all to fear. When you're ready, place your wrist within the device at the center of the room. so I can move around. They say there's nothing to worry about. But you see all those marks and holes and everything else on that wall right there? Not the design ones. The actual, like, bullet holes and everything else. You're telling me there's nothing to worry about there? Congratulations are in order. You are the very first of our new type God Eaters. Brilliant! 
You have passed the test, and well. Now that we're certain you're a God Arc match, we must ensure your welfare with a short physical. Please, wait in the lobby just beyond the door. The doctor will see to you shortly. And do let someone know if you feel unwell. I have great hopes. I'm sorry, I can't take it seriously. We have great hopes for you, basically. And you look at my character with the cat ears and the eye patch. <laughs> Sup? Want some gum? Oh, wait, uh... Yeah, totally out. <laughs> I kinda just down the last piece. So, you were a match too? That makes at least two of us. How old are you, anyway? Well, I've still got a nanosecond of experience on you. Pleasure to meet you. Stand. Huh? Stand and to attention. Now. Excellent. I've got a busy day planned, so we'll keep this quick. My name is Subaki Amamiya. I am the senior operator here at the Far East, and I'll be your advisor. Your schedule is as follows. A full medical workup followed by a gamut of physical conditioning. You'll be taught basic combat strategies and tactics, and given a brief overview of god arcs and armament. Until this moment, God Eaters have put their lives on the line to defend you. Now it's your turn to repay them. If you plan on staying alive, every order will be answered and enacted immediately. Understood? Oh. Am I understood? Ma'am, yes ma'am. Better. Now, as to your exams. Let's begin with you, shall we? Orders are to report to Dr. Paylor Sakaki's office at 1500 hours. Until then, you're free to tour the facility as you wish. Welcome to Fenrir's Far East Branch, which we affectionately call the Den. This is your home now. These teammates, your family. Godspeed. It kind of annoys me that there's still music, because now I'm gonna... Oh, I God, are compatible. I like that. Just yes. No, no, no. Hello. Uh, blah. I'm back. Sorry. Um, apparently my mic, um, audio, was really quiet. So I do apologize for that. Um, just to give you a s yeah. I don't know. Uh, shopkeeper. Well, well. Looks like we got ourselves a rookie. If you want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with our Agami, you'll need my wares. I stock everything from healing items to performance enhancers and all the basic bullets and god arc pots you'll ever need. Just listen to me. Replenish your supplies right here. I think my prices are pretty damn good. I don't know why I gave him that kind of voice. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you work here? I seem to have gotten separated from my father. Do you know where my father is? Uh... Are you lost? No, I'm just wandering around on my own head fun. Maybe I'll buy something at the shopkeeper. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to go into that three times. I just, uh, apparently. Um. I don't feel like doing a voice for every single character, so I'm just going to read these at this point. Oh, are you the one Tsubaki's been looking for? She said if I saw someone wandering about to tell that person to see, go see Tsubaki. Saki's the in white on the floor below us. She's pretty scary, so you better hear her. Section. Hey, don't start. Hey, there you are. Being a god eater is tough business. We're despised by some, envied by others. Even so, we're protecting those same people. Heh. But that's just an old god eater rambling. When you're old enough, I'll buy you a drink. See you later. You're taking the medical checkup first, right? We should probably say hi to everyone while we have the chance. You know what they say, first impressions are the most lasting. I guess I should read through the database on the terminal, but did you see how much text there is? No way can I read all that. There is a terminal. There's text. Well, you must be the new god eater. Nice to meet you. I'm Hippery Takeda. I oversee mission orders. Mission orders issued right after Spocky over there proves you're going into combat. Please confirm with Spocky before you do anything else. Subaki! Get on with it. First, go get your medical checkup. Go up the stairs and take the section elevator to the library. Head toward Dr. Sakaki's lavat 
Or you at the far end of the corridor. When you're done with the checkup, I want you to come back here. Understand? Understood. Alright, now be on your way. You can now use the elevator to travel different areas. Oh boy. I know I'm supposed to go to the laboratory, but I'm going to the OT section. What a, pu what a puny reward. Rations are getting worse, too. Hey, you're new. Oh, you're one of those rookies. Gotta use men to get better pay, but it's not nearly enough to cover risking your life. Listen, you just do enough not to get killed. Without your life, you're nothing. Well, I mean... Go to this room. You're not authorized to enter this room. Empty room. You're not authorized to enter this room. Living quarters. You can access the archives in the terminal room, allowing you to watch movies and listen to music. Really? I have a poor... Ooh, terminal. Would you, what would you like to do? Open terminal. View archive. Open terminal. Um... Church got a artifact parts close and even create equipment sets to make the change more convenient. You can also check your skill effects strategies. You can use your skill effects essential for making missions go smoothly. Press the start button to view your skill effects. Hope. Recruit. Knight. Oh, so I get to use different things. Okay. Oh boy, standard buckler, support shield. I can't change the color. Oh wait, that's really pointless. I know I have a thing popping up, it's telling me I have stuff in the database, but... Better in a second. You're not authorized to enter here. It's curious from that other I'm not authorized to enter any of these bedrooms. Or yeah. Detective section. I am definitely not allowed to be in here. That's not even a room. That's Branch's office. These aren't even rooms. That's lame. Laboratory. Uh I don't know you. Oh, hello there. Oh, so you're the Wookiee. They said you'd get, that we'd be getting two new kids. You must be on your way to your medical checkup then. To the end of the hall and Dr. Sakak is up. Dude, does, Doc's a little eccentric, but, uh, but, oh, but hey, he's a very kind man. You'll be fine. Um, don't start the sentence with he's eccentric. I'm going to the infirmary. There's no dead people in here. Dr. Sakaki's lab. I'm about to get tested. Very horribly. Didn't expect that. You are here precisely 726 seconds before I anticipated. Interesting. I am Paylor Sakaki. <laughs> Dr. Paylor Sakaki, the chief of Aragami Tech and R&D. I'm certain we'll be seeing quite a lot of each other over the coming days. Welcome aboard, new type. As you can see, I'm still a touch busy at the moment. Things to do, screens to watch, uh... Johannes, why don't you do your speech thing, and then I'll go. Sure. <laughs> Though, Doctor, I think it is high time you learn to prioritize between work and personal research. Thank you for taking part in the aptitude test. I know it is not pleasant. My name is Johannes von Schicksal. I'm the director of the Far East Branch, reporting directly to Fenrir. Once again, congratulations on your acceptance. I know you shall do great things in your time here. Don't let the speechifying fool you. He's an ex-tech guy. No doubt the new type medical exam is calling to him. A tech guy? Do keep in mind that I hung up my lab coat because we have you now, Doctor. Once a scientist, always a scientist, Johannes. Perhaps. In any <laughs> case, if I may return to my speechifying. The Fenrir Corporation has many goals, of which you are now a critical part. Your direct duties, while crucial, are rather simple. You God Eaters hunt down and destroy Aragami and gather their materials. These materials are then converted into resources. They help maintain this base, and supply the upcoming Aegis project. These numbers? There's no way they can be right! The Aegis project will defend humanity in our utopia. A <sighs> fortress at sea, impregnable to origami assault, located near the deepest part of the Sea of Japan. Ah, of course, of course! Once the final phase of the project is complete, humanity will be able to live in peace again. Free from these monsters. <laughs> Amazing! The new types are a miracle! Taylor, I am trying to teach something. 
Oh, right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just these readings. They're beyond our wildest hopes. Then it seems the future of humanity is in good hands. You will do us proud. And on that note, I shall place you in the doctor's hands and take my leave. Paler, be sure to send the results. <laughs> I just love how the whole time he's given the speech, this guy's just laughing and doing his own thing. I believe we're ready to begin. Go ahead and lie down on the bed just there. Um. As the exam begins, you will feel a bit drowsy. I assure you there's nothing to worry about. When you awaken, you'll be in your quarters. It's a uh, cat nap, so to speak. Shouldn't be more than a few hours. 10,800 seconds at most. Sleep well. <laughs> That's kind of ironic that he says a cat nap, the fact that I have cat ears on. <laughs> Jeez. I'm going to this terminal. Uh, view archives. Oh, that's cool. Open oh, terminal. That's not what I wanted. Uh, mail. Koda Fujiki. Subject. Nice to meet you. Message. By the way, do you know when my medical checkup is? I think Mr. Tsubaki told me, but I can't remember. I want to ask her, but she seems kind of scary. Uh, oh no. Oh, I'm not doing this right now. <laughs> Let's save. Um, what's my... Alright, let's get out here and... What am I supposed to do now? I hate that. Oops, I'm just gonna the hate not haze book, because that would suck. Follow permissions that key off to go right, then we go through that den gate and the actual comet. Yeah, I think I'll wait to head over so I meant to be prepared. Yeah, sucks to be you. Alright. If the enemy says you can change your weapon. Change your weapons upstairs at the terminal. The lodge special were given approval at the den gate with a fire under this. Do you follow me? Yes, I understand. Alright, that's good. I may cause you some inconvenience at times, but I do look forward to working with you. Before you set up, go upstairs and head for the den gate at the end of the hall. So, there are two types of missions story missions, advanced supply, and free missions. You may take up to eight of the consumer items, stun grenade, out onto a mission. Surplus grenades will automatically be sent to storage. During multiplayer, the stun grenade carrying limit per player fluctuates depending on the number of players. So be aware that the value may change. Missions that can only be played after events may still for a certain difficulty. If it deals unlock conditions, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do the tutorials. I know um, that uh, I could do. Uh, I know that technically I can go straight into a story, um, but I want to survive. The first rule of combat is this knowledge of one's surroundings is the line between life and death. Take a look around. Wow. Excellent. Now focus straight ahead once more. Uh, let's lower the voices, shall Second I? Second rule of combat. Keep moving. Here's a primer on the most effective forms of traversal in the field. Alright, so camera similar. Sim Alright. There are two platforms in the training area. Go ahead and climb atop them. High ground is an advantage that can't be denied, both in scouting and actual combat scenarios. Always be sure to keep one eye on your stamina. If you lose your breath out there, it may cost more than your pride. Why don't you go for a quick run? Get that heart rate up. Okay, um... 
Why am I running? Alright, that seems like a suitable warm-up. Now, on to the basics of combat training. The weapon in your hand is called a God Arc. The uh -huh. only tool that can slay Aragami. Bound to you for life. We've just released some Aragami mock-ups into the training chamber. Strike them down. Transform from a blade into gun form for ranged attacks. Transfer now to gun form. Let loose a few rounds against the Aragami. I'm not worried about that. I heard a blue. It's probably Discord. You've earned Gap. Gap can be spent to learn certain personal abilities from members who will join you in the future. Gap is earned the first time a mission is cleared and rarely when clearing an urgent mission. Alright. Okay. Yeah, so for at the save data, this game is actually really cool. Um, I'm actually enjoying this. Wow, so he's kind of lame. Um, understood. Um, standard mission, difficulty. Uh, let's do these second training one which will teach me about recovering materials and stuff. I'm doing these just so I get a basic understanding. Yeah, I really wanted to play this game. Because Let's begin with a review, shall we? Make sure you were paying attention in the last session. Slay the enemy. Be aware they are tougher than what you're used to and will require some advanced tactics. Stay sharp. When there's no hope of avoiding an attack entirely, open your shield to absorb the brunt of the assault. Yeah, I see my HP gauge. Yep, I get it. <sighs> it does, however, take a while to bandage yourself properly. Using stun grenades will buy you some time and space. Now, I think I'll have you fight the Aragami from before one more time. Let's see how you fare. Your God Arc has 
has another special trait that you should make good use of in the field, Devour Form. This allows you to take Oracle energy directly from the enemies you face in the wild. By siphoning this Oracle, you can temporarily increase your own strength, even to unheard of levels. Wait for an opening to present itself, and then strike with Devour Form. From there, enter Burst Mode, and finish the beast. of materials from its core. These materials are critical to advancing our research, as well as earning enhancements to your god arc itself. Alternatively, you can collect the scraps that line the field during battle. Just to prove you can do it, please go around and pick up the ones we've littered about the training area. Training will conclude in 20 seconds. All right. This is pretty straightforward. I mean, I'm not super good at this. Very well. It seems you've passed boot camp simply enough. Next, you'll go up against the real thing. Fight well, God Eater. Kick your ass! Okay, so the combos aren't too bad. Um, it'll be a little interesting. Um, just see how things go. Um, we'll do one mission and then that'll pretty much be it for this episode. Devil's Tail, City of Mercy, 30 minutes. I One Ogre Tail confirmed when the old city eliminate. As soon as possible, search identifies the outer skin of Ogre Tails to be vulnerable to pierce attacks. Mission time is 30 minutes. Good luck. Confirm. Accept mission. I don't know who Lindo is, but sure, this will do. Oh, Lindo, the director said that if I saw you, I should tell you he wishes to meet with you. Awesome. Sounds like you didn't see me then. Oh, ho! hey there, huh? Rook. The name's Lindo Amamia. According to various documents, I am your superior officer. But I never paid much attention to that crap, and neither should you. In game, I want you to be someone who I know has my back. And I'll have yours. Oh, who's this? A new recruit? Oh, well, yes. Yep, and you're totally ruining my big scary speech about our brutal coda, so shoot. Of course, sir. You're the boss, sir. Now I lost my place, so we're cool, yeah? I'm sending you out into battle, and I know that's scary, but look, I'm gonna be right here with you. Got it? Oh, and look at the time. It's half past mission. Let's go. I love that. He's like, oh, well, you screwed up my scary thing. Well, uh, here we go. <laughs> Man, this place has seen better days for sure. All right, Rook. We're going to get some hands-on experience today. You got three big rules. Don't die. If you're in danger, frickin' run. And last, hide. Well, not hide. Use cover. Stealth wins fights. Wait, is that four big rules then? I'm gonna bottom line it for you. Survive. Actually, yeah, let's say one big rule. Survive. All right, kid. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, I'm a little concerned. My commanding officer doesn't know what he's talking about. Hey there. This is our first field. 
field op together. I'm excited to work with you. Now let's get out there. We're fighting little ogre tails today. Should be a pretty basic hunt. Nothing crazy or unexpected. Fingers crossed. I got it. <laughs> the number to the right of each character's name is their endurance, which will decrease if their HP reaches zero. If another character's endurance reaches zero, they cannot perform link aid, and if your own reaches zero, you will fail the mission. Characters that participate in missions receive AP. AP can be used to learn personal abilities. Teach character skills that match your style of play. You can view personal abilities from the terminal. Okay. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so what do you say we just jump right in? Now, what do you think an Aragami is? A monster. Lots of words come to mind. The apex predator, the devourer of mankind, God's given flesh. Well, those are all right, in a way. These phrases, while dramatic, aren't misconceptions. Rather, you could say they simply evolve from wonderment. The speaker clearly has their eyes fixed on the phenomena before them. Today, we are striving for a deeper answer. Tell me, have you ever wondered from whence the Aragami come? Mm -hmm. History books tell us that they just appear, as though from the air itself. Since then, their numbers have grown. Strange, no? As though they are ripping through the very core of evolutionary process. <sighs> hey, hey, does this lecture have an intermission? Or a point? Our job's to kill them. What does it matter where they come from? Oh, it matters. Whoa! Aragami have no heart. Neither do they have a brain or a digestive system or spinal fluids. Frail humans that we are, a powerful strike to the chest would cripple or kill us. But okay. no, that won't bring down an Aragami. You see, these beasts are clusters of oracle cells, each individually a single cell organism of its own, ever devouring the others. Mad? Ha! Perhaps. But each Aragami is a colony of hundreds, nay thousands of individual life forms, each striving to survive. And this dangerous, deadly, elegant fusion of cells cannot be destroyed by conventional weapons. They are impervious to all assault. Okay. So, how then are we meant to survive? How can we defeat such a powerful predator? Um, well, they die when we hit them a lot with the God Ark, or shoot them a lot with the God Ark, so... Precisely! A God Ark! A biological weapon infused with the same oracle cells that inhabit an Aragami's body. That's the key. They are the only weapons capable of cutting through their ever-fusing oracle cells. But just cutting them down will do no good. The rogue cell colonies will grow and heal, or worse, form new monsters to be defeated. Okay. No, there is only one way to ensure victory. Tearing out the core. The cells that serve as a control center. But of course, such a task is challenging to say the least. Even with our god arcs, we have no way to deliver such a devastating blow. At some point, people recognized in these monsters, in their immortality, the spirits of the many gods once worshipped here. They deem these creatures Aragami, and we fight them still. Okay. I think that's as good a place as any to hold for today. As homework, please refer to the Norn database for more on the history of Aragami. Dismiss! That's actually fascinating. So it's just saying that basically they appeared out of nowhere and they're just they're just a bunch of cells fighting to survive. That's what they are. Weird. Let's go to local section. My living quarters. Let's go in here. Open total. Oh 
Hello, I'm Bob Bradbury. To get it, Mr. Thanks for undergoing your medical check the other day. You'll find everything unfamiliar at first, but if you have any questions about combat, please ask Tabaki or, or Jen. Welcome aboard. Hope to see you around. Lindo Amamaya. Today's mission. Hey, you did great. The end. They're just kidding. Well, I'll see you around. Just don't die, alright? Cannon. Cannon Daiba. Nice to meet you, Mr. I'm. It's Cannon. We met in the corridor the other day. Do you remember? I'm sorry if you don't. I might cause a lot of trouble. But thank you in advance for your support. Oh, boy. Hey, rookie. So you're a new type rookie, huh? You best remember who's junior and senior here. Listen to your super superiors. See ya. Neato. Um. Interesting. Interesting. Who the heck are you? You're a cleaner? Are you the rookie? There are a lot of grumblers here, but it's thanks to you that we can survive. We're all very grumble, you know, so hold your head high up, keep your chin up. Okay, cleaner. Tatsumi. I made it back alive, hey, Barry. So how about a... So how about a date? <laughs> hey, are you the rookie everyone's talking about? I'll show you the ropes. You might know this. When you accept the mission, file it with the barrier. Afterwards, your tab will be tallied up and paid. You can check things from the terminal up these stairs. What about that? So don't worry yourself out. I look forward to working with you. Boy. Oh boy, when I grow up, I'm going to be just like the shopkeeper and make piles of money. Then I'll be able to make mom's life easier. Oh, I can't wait to grow up. Um, kid? Um, buy equipment. Melee weapons. Ooh, outfit tops. Can I at least get to see this? I don't own the rebellion. Desolation seems like the best one. weird well guys that's gonna be it for this video um this game is actually really fun i'm really excited to get more into it um but yeah so if you like this video like some more hit that subscribe button all right don't forget to like uh to like the video uh to show me that you guys would like to see more of this um and then don't forget to click the bell so you can part of the notification squad and then if you have any comments questions or game videos please leave them in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.